<laughs> you don't do that. If you pray, then God will open the door. Amen. Amen. Who opened doors? God. And if God opened doors, who can close it? But if a man could open the door, who can close the door? The man. Okay then. <laughs> so you must pray and let God open the door, because when God opened the door, then no man can close it. See, then this is really praying consistent with the word of God. This is praying consistent with the word of God. And look here. It, when you pray consistent with the word of God, you start to see those things that you couldn't see before. And the reason why you couldn't see it before because you was in praying God's will. We was not praying God's will. We was praying based on our own desire. You know, sometimes that we 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 pray based on how we feel, and prayer have nothing to do with your feelings. This is why many believers don't pray because when they have a bad day, they don't pray. <laughs> and that's the time you need to pray when the devil is on you. James says that if any man afflicted, let him complain. No. Is that what he said? If any man afflicted, let him let him complain. No. Let him pray. So the cure for affliction is prayer. So when a believer is afflicted, the believer needs to pray. It's okay to have somebody else pray for you, pray along with you. But you don't just don't sit there and not pray and want, want, want other people to pray for you. No. No. You have to develop your own relationship, your own prayer life with God. Go ahead. That I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. You see, and see, the, the key, what Paul is saying now, the key said, when I, Paul said, you know, that, see, I'm praying that, you know, when I speak the mystery of Christ, that I will make it manifest. That you'll be able to see the mystery, the power of Christ. You see how prayer, Paul prays? Do you know this is a powerful prayer? Because Paul is not praying nothing concerning him to be able to see it. How many times we pray for Lord, let 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 you manifest to me. Forget the house, get the car, forget all that. I need you to manifest to me. That when I speak the mystery of Christ, that they will be able to see the manifestation of the Christ Jesus that I'm talking about. That way, mo most believers them really don't really. Pay church no mind because most of the time that what we talking, we talking the same thing they talking, and they say they can't learn nothing. Amen. It's nowhere in the Bible, not in the old, neither in the new. And we pray because we hear somebody else pray, and not somebody else hear somebody else pray. Because if they was reading the Bible, they'll know for sure that that is not written. Amen. And so when I pray a prayer that is not a word that is not in the word, uh, not in the Bible, you know what I'm doing? I'm praying to another God. You don't know where it comes from. You just hear somebody say, and you don't know where it's written. You, you can't find it. No reference of what you say. That's why I say, before you go pray, uh, if you have a need, before you go to pray, make sure find out that whatever you desire, amen, always in the word. And if you find it in the Word, just don't find it in one place. Find it in two or three places. And then you make your request based on what it says. Because now that's God's Word. That's God's promises right there. Hallelujah. We ought to be students of the Bible, right? We ought to be students of the Word. So, so amen. So if, so if I'm going to pray, my prayer must be consistent. With God's promise, God's principle, and God's prophecy. The reason why most prophecies not manifest and is hidden, I mean it is delayed, is get from among your king folks. 
That was the what? Principle. In order for those promises that God promised him to come to pass, Abraham had to leave his father. See, a lot of times we're not abiding to the principle. Jesus says, if you abide in me, and my word abide in you, you will ask what you will, and it shall be given unto you. Hallelujah. Let's go on to more. Praying God's word is what produces the power in prayer. Amen. Praying God's will is what produces the power of prayer. Let's go to it's going to First Thessalonians five and verse seventeen. First Thessalonians five verse seventeen. Just remember, we must. I know my eyes are wake up. I know you all wake up too. You wake up, and you need to start waking up. So be. <laughs> You know, when you wake up, when it's again you wake up? Yeah, I do I do like a walking. You do a lot of walking? Yeah. Okay. Mother Gail, you wake up? <laughs> okay, one <well>, morning. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Do you know waking out is a sacrifice? Yeah. Waking out is a sacrifice. And, 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 and see, I, I, I'm using it as an example. You don't look, uh, you know, you, you, you work out, and a lot of times the people will say, I, I really want to get in shape. You know, I want to work out and be cut up. And so now, they want to be cut up, so they say, now, to be cut up, now I can do all the sit ups, I can do work out, I can be conditioned. Now, the first day, they're happy, they're excited. The second day they go to sleep, that night, wake up, they can barely move their feet, they can't move their arm, their back hurting, say, my Lord, my God, I'm going back today. I go right there, let's go, let's go. No, you see, that's why you're not, see, you're developing muscle, but you got to work through it. And it's that's like your prayer. You might be praying and say, because I don't see nothing, pray again until you see it, until it manifests. You got to pray again and tell. It don't mean that you don't have no faith. A lot of times they say, well, oh, you, you, oh, if you pray more for one thing more one time, you ain't got no faith. No, it's not true. In every case, it's not true. Amen. In every case, it's not true. Paul prayed three times. This is being consistent in prayer. It's being consistent in prayer. You know what Jeremiah said? Jeremiah said that. And God's word is like a hammer. Now, what a hammer does? That breaks through the rock. Let me tell you something. You ever, you, you, you ever do demolition? You don't break through no rock or, or concrete just in one hit. You have to work that. And you got to keep it in it, keep it in it until it gets soft, until you bust through. So the word of God is like a hammer. That breaks your rock, but you have to enforce it in prayer. And it's not, it, 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 one time it's not enough. You gotta be consistent in praying until you get your breakthrough. Pray until you pray. I like saying it like that. Pray until you pray. You get a breakthrough in prayer. Okay, go ahead, read. Pray with those. Uh huh. And everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. My God, you had to see this is the will of God concerning in Christ Jesus concerning you. He said, pray without giving up, without ceasing, without giving up. That means that's don't pray sometime. That's why we're not we're not building no no spiritual strength because we're not consistent in doing it. Anything that you keep on doing over and over and over again, you get good at it. You work out, you go the second day, 
you. It's the same principle where we have to be consistent in prayer. Most believers cannot even open up in prayer. You give them a mic to open up prayer, they want to preach. 